Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie Bitches! Bitches. Episode 154. Tonight we're reviewing 47 Meters Down. So this movie uh, features Mandy Moore and Claire Holt. and Who looked so familiar and I couldn't figure it out. And it turns out she was on like a ton of seasons of Vampire Diaries, oh. which I casually watched and I have no memory of who she played. But that must be what it is. So is that why she was billed? Couldn't tell you why she was billed first. I was shocked. I I genuinely was like, oh, so Mandy Moore's gonna die halfway through this movie because she's billed second, and that's just what's gonna happen. Nope. I guess it's alphabetical. I guess. But Mandy Moore is still a name, and Claire Holt is not. That's what I thought. So there's some interesting background to this movie, and I don't know if I explained this to you or not. Somewhat. Okay, so... This movie was originally called Into the Deep. It's just In the Deep. In the Deep. Which, happenstantially, was also the title of The Shallows. Which is really ironic. Yeah, wait a minute. The Shallows and In the Deep are literally the opposite the thing. The opposite. Um, so, The Shallows changed the, their name, obviously. But then this movie didn't keep In the Deep. And instead they went to 47 Meters Down, which is a horrible title. Awful. I just don't understand how there are two movies about girls and sharks, both called In the Deep, yes. that are supposed to come out in the same year. I mean, Deep Impact come on, and Armageddon Hollywood. came out in the same but year. But they weren't both called Meteor. It starts, and like, after the first five minutes, I think, I leaned over and was like, is this a real movie? And April gave me a resounding no. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it was like a, a sci-fi movie. Like, Yee. the production and the special effects were, were of higher quality than a sci-fi original film. But it was that level of, like, dialogue and yeah. sort of character lack of development. And, and just, just like, like, real basic filmmaking. So it's the two sisters, Kate and Lisa. I still am not clear which one is which. Lisa was Mandy Moore. Okay. I think. They said their names an awful lot. Well, and it's like Kate have, and Lisa, you know, just they have like masks, masks on. on most of the movies. Yeah. So you're like, which one's Kate? Kate? Lisa? Kate? Leah? And you're like, I don't know. Kate. Kate was the blonde. Yeah. Because at the end, she's like Kate. Oh right, right. Spoilers. Kate doesn't make it. <laughs> well, that's the spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, well, I just didn't appreciate that they were both very unlikable. Yeah. In different ways. In different ways. Uh, Mandy Moore is just a total pushover. Um, has no self-respect, nope. seemingly. Um, has just broken up, or gotten broken up with by her boyfriend, mm -hmm. Stuart. The much talked about Stuart. Stuart. Who, guess what? Guess who was supposed to play Stuart? But all of his scenes got cut. James Franco. Uh, James? James? Not Mac Franco. Boy? Oh God, no! I'll He's know. way too good for this movie. They wouldn't have cut him. <laughs> no. No, James Vanderbeek. Oh my, that makes a lot more sense. I wouldn't. I don't consider James Vanderbeek and Mandy Moore in the same sort of age bracket, but no. I, I guess they are. Close. No, I don't think they are. I, feel like James, I think he's a good. I feel like he's six like or eight like years older than her. Forty. Like, oh yeah. He's on the closer side and of forty. She's and she's like thirty-two. Thirty-ish. Yeah. So that seemed odd. A little bit. Didn't know why he was in this movie. Didn't know why Matthew Modine decided to be in this movie. The captain. Oh. Just because like he was trying out his Spanish. Relax. Tranquilo. Okay? I don't he know. He looked familiar. He's very famous. Oh, good. So, <laughs> Kate and Lisa. Yeah. Mandy Moore. Yes, she keeps on being like, oh, the only good thing in my life is my boyfriend. Oh, my life is terrible. Oh, I wish Stuart would take me back. Maybe if I was more fun and less boring. She literally says, it's my fault he broke up with me because I'm boring. Yeah. And then her sister doesn't say, fuck that guy. Yeah. That's bullshit. You're great. You're great. Yeah. She says, you know what we should do? Let's go dive with great white sharks and let's take pictures to send to your boyfriend to, who to left post, you to, to show him how crazy you are. Yeah. Oh, I bet Stuart will like those pictures of you with sharks goading her on and you're like, oh, she's a horrible person as well. Yeah. So you're not really rooting for them to survive. Well, okay. I mean, like, on a basic level, sure. Here's the thing that I hate about these movies. Yeah. There's two different tropes that are always present. The sharks. And I always the sharks hate. Want or a revenge. Yeah, the, or, the or sharks are something. just these like crazy. The sharks have an agenda. Right? 
Blonde white girls taste the best, apparently. Well, apparently. Like, it's always like this, oh, I'm either alone or I'm trying to prove something and I'm going to make all of these bad decisions and not do my due diligence about, right? like, doing serious things in open water. Yeah. And then it's like this janky ass boat. You're like, this is some suspect shit, right? Well, it's again, it's this like women putting themselves in danger because they don't want to cause a fuss. Yeah. And it's like, no. I'm, I'm over that. She's like, isn't it illegal to chum the waters? Yeah. And the guy's like, oh, what you gonna, what am I supposed to do? Here, yeah, Shaggy, Shaggy. And she's like, oh. I guess so. Okay. You're a big loud man. They're both just like, there was that gross. And I'd just be like, fuck nah. You do not have insurance. And yet. For. Oh no. <laughs> there was no insurance involved. <laughs> and yet, like, they have the most high tech masks you've ever seen so they can have dialogue in the movie instead of being like <laughs> you know or whatever Kurt I'm going to Kurt Kurt Lisa Kurt I'm so scared you know I mean that would have been the entire film it would have been now if it had been silent <laughs> would have been maybe great not great but you know well and I had that interest I had that thought for a minute because like it goes if silent just at one point do, like, it goes silent and it's kind of gravity signals. Yeah. Esk, where she's like in this mask and it's dark and she can hardly see yeah. and she doesn't know where she's going and she can't hear her sister anymore. That was anymore. the best scene. It was. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, that's scary. She gets lost and she's sort of in this abyss and there's this pretty great shot of the camera panning just into abyss and you can't see anything. And just like, like little like, things floating and by. And you're expecting a shark to come be like, blah, and then a shark comes in and is like, blah. There was shots that were effective. Yes. And claustrophobic. But the whole talking thing, I mean, I think they must have spent more time in the ADR booth than oh in actually filming this movie, right? The most disappointing thing for me about this was that, like, The Shallows did a good job of really, like... Whoa, that phrase just came out of your mouth. <laughs> hey, they did two really great things. Steven Seagal. Duh. <laughs> and the shark had, like, personality, at least. You know, it was like this, like... Face off. That was absurd. It was absolutely you know, absurd. But where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Okay, but but I like loved at least it. at least it was like a thing. Right. You know? And you're like, fine, I'll just pretend that for some reason this shark really wants to get her. But this, it was just like generic shark. It was like, oh there's a shark. Oh wait, there's another shark. Am I right? Not one real shark? Not one real shark. The CGI is pretty convincing it though, is isn't fantastic. it? Yeah. The whole time I kept thinking, because they were like, oh it'll be so fun. Oh my god, we have to do this. Oh my god. But I kept being like yeah, I'm good. Right? Do I need to see sharks up close? Yeah, I'm good. Look, if you're looking for an adventure, I think there's other things that you Go could have done. Go zip lining. Yeah. Go for a hike. I don't know. Well, instead of her sister goading her into doing something irresponsible to prove to a man that she was worthy of him, right? I would have appreciated it to do anything else. I mean, other than that, right? That was the worst setup. It was so bad. Because like this movie could have also easily just become a, like a totally different movie. Yeah. Where it's just like them on a miserable vacation in Mexico where they're like talking through her feelings. Yes, right. You know? Yeah. And it's like just like drunken conversations uh, yeah. poolside like while she reads some like bad book. Well, at one point the sister or somebody says, "What are you going to do? Just lay by the pool all day?" And I was, I was like, like, "Yeah." yeah. The, That's sort of the point a, of I, this vacation. I got a book. Yeah. I got a margarita. Great. A sun hat. Maybe we'll go snorkeling later. Maybe. You know. Yeah, yeah. sure. See some turtles. Some guacamole. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I want some guacamole. Mmm. Sounds yeah. really good. It sounds delicious. Yeah. By the end of the movie, mm -hmm. I just really thought, what was the point of uh, this movie? Yeah. Like, with the shallows, sure, it's moronic and whatever but like it was like an arc of she started here she ended here okay cool well because her motivation too was like she wanted to go to the beach of her mom like yeah, that, you know it was like, like a, a backstory yeah like these girls it was just like you're making poor choices you made really bad choices yeah that have now come back to kill your sister worst, worst trip ever worst decision ever. they've ever made well there was no coming back from it so the sister no. dies yeah and you're like oh well then that's just like 
Is the post credit scene gonna be Mandy more crying, packing up their suitcases, just like, <laughs> Mom, Dad, Kate's dead. Like, it was she like, got eaten by a shark. Oh, like, this is not okay. No. I mean, Matthew Modine's license, he's in jail, right? I mean, it's, he's surely revoked, right? Well, yeah, I mean, okay. I would think he second degree manslaughter. It's right? Or something. Something. It was like this weird, almost villainous aspect to all of the men. He's like, you both know how to scuba dive, right? And they're like, yeah! And he's like, okay, cool. We had a we tiny, were... like, crash course in diving before we started Novice shooting this. Divers. But we did not get certified by any, by any means. So they pick, these two guys pick them up because they're trying to be fun, and then they're kind of flirting with them, and then they're like, oh, you should go do this shark thing with us. So we I do it all the time. I was expecting this to be some reveal of, like, they do this all the time. They pick up white tourista girls and flirt with them into paying Matthew Modine money so they can, like, keep this business afloat. I thought so, too. And it's like, oh, no, that's not what happened? It Everything felt sketchy the yeah. whole time. The whole time, the whole I'm just time. like, you guys, this is sketchy. Yeah. You guys know. Yeah. You should not, like... I mean, these guys are going to give you an STD, like, you certainly shouldn't get on a boat to go, like, swim with sharks with them. Like, right. these are all bad choices. Yeah, yeah. At least just, like, you know, get chlamydia, like, you can, you can fix that with, like, antibiotics. Like, <laughs> but so the other problem with that, then, for me, was that, like, because everything felt sketchy. Right. It never felt like something that they should be doing. Oh, no. You know, like, whereas if it was, you know, just, like, really having, like, a fabulous day in the ocean. See them having fun. Yeah. See, it, see it be, like, a normal thing. Right. And then something just... Goes wrong. Catastrophically goes wrong. Right. You know, and you're like, oh, my God. Then you wouldn't be blaming them the whole time. Like, the whole time you're like, but this is your fault. This boat is sketchy. Yeah. These men are sketchy. Don't do this. Worst, Worst trip ever. Worst decision they've ever made. I needed it to be more sinister or something. Like that they were janky, and then once it fucked, they left. And then the girls together found a way to survive. Or try to. Or try to. Because that's what it seems like they would do. Yeah. Matthew Modine had no reason to save them, other than, like, humanity. Right. But I didn't know him at all, so... Well, he seemed pretty sketchy. So it's like, oh god, he might just leave them for dead. Yeah. Hey, yeah. look, well, we, we can claim the insurance on this cage that fell. I don't think they have insurance for that cage, April. Sure. I also don't know how much that cage would be. I think they would just sure. leave it and pretend like nothing ever happened. And be like, I don't know what happened to my winch. What winch? What boat? <laughs> can we talk about some of the more hilarious parts of the movie? Yes, please, let's. Okay, so the best, I mean, the first... Well, it starts. Oh, my God. I mean, God. the first funny thing. They borrow the camera from their two not-boyfriends. The whole point of going down there was to get a picture of Mandy Moore with the shark so she could post it on Facebook and prove to her boyfriend that she's not boring and that he should take her back. Whoa, this movie came out this year. Anyway, and then but so they he, immediately she's drop like, "Can I have your your camera?" And he's like, if "Okay, but if you it, drop it, you have to go down and get it." Yeah. So wait, like, they totally should have found the camera, and then there should have been a picture of them on the boat, like. Yay, we're going! We're so cute! We're sisters! Right? And then as the as Mandy Moore is getting rescued at the very end, she should have found the camera, and then she gets to look at the picture of her sister, the last picture of her sister. I was gonna say, like, make it real sinister and be like, the plot line was it's that the, the guy was like, I told you you'd have to go down and get it. Yes! <laughs> I was thinking, was there a picture of the shark being like, I gotta get ya. Oh, well, no, that's why she couldn't have found the camera. Oh, my God, because the shark. Because that was the best part. Oh, my God. So, so, so they're in there, right? And they're like, oh, look at all these fish. And then all of a, all of a sudden. It's like, oh, I dropped it. Oops. And then it's like falling, falling, falling. And the shark eats the camera. That was the first <laughs> moment when we laughed very loudly. So there's a real ham-fisted line by Matthew Modine that's like, if I send these new tanks down to you, you might get nitrogen poisoning and you might start hallucinating. So make sure to check out for you guys might start being wacky. Mandy Moore starts, I mean, we clocked it from the moment it was happening. Mandy Moore yeah. starts having a fantasy, but it's pretend, it's like made to be real. So the sister totally gets eaten by the shark. Oh yeah, but it was like... Weird. Stupid. Yeah. Like, of all the ways that she almost got eaten, this one was the stupidest. She's like... Seemingly right six next feet, to the like, cage. like five feet away. Right from the cage. next to the cage. 
Mandy Moore doesn't open the gate. They no. keep, okay, the other annoying thing, they keep fucking closing and locking the gate. Yeah. And it's like, you guys, first of all, if the shark is coming, you can close the gate. And it's too big to fit through that hole. The shark. Yeah. Even though at some point the shark bends steel with his nose. That happened too. Remember when that happened? Well, it was rusty steel, April. Oh, boy. But anyway, like by the end, it's like, so you shouldn't be adventurous? I should stay on the beach and read a book? Like, I didn't know what it was trying to tell me. Me either. Like, at least in the shallows, it was like, she saved herself and like, fuck that shark. Oh, right, but so the best part. Oh, yeah. So they're, they're... So she's having this hallucination. And they're floating to the top and her sister's all fucked and they keep lighting flares to scare away the sharks, but I feel like that would just attract the sharks. I don't they'd know. be like, here I am, here's this red light. I don't know. But anyway, they're going up and they're going up and they're going up and they have to, you know, do a decompression stop and... The flare goes out. The flare goes out. And then maybe more lights a new flare and it was just like, all of a sudden there was like eight sharks and they were all like, ah! But she like lights but a new flare as if... The sharks, like, as if the shark is going, I'm gonna get ya. Oh, a flare! I, oh, it was so funny. It was so oh, funny. I laughed so hard. It was oh, so stupid. We laughed so hard. People so asked us to be quiet in the theater. It was hilarious. Go now. There are sharks everywhere. Ah, it's in his mouth. Oh my god, it was so stupid. The last half hour was entertaining. She got bit the fuck up. Well, in the in, in the, the hallucination, fantasy, right? Yeah. Her, they both just get like bit the fuck up and then they're trying to get them out. I mean, that was actually exciting. It was exciting. What's the next thing that happens to Mandy Moore? The Coast Guard saves her. Mm -hmm. She sues them? Sues, like, somehow? For gross negligence. Gross negligence? And wrongful death? Yeah. They don't have any money. She's just fucked. I mean, maybe she used a good credit card and she can collect on, like, the life insurance. You think they paid Matthew Modine with a credit card? Well, right, I mean, if I were the credit card company, I'd be like, no, you were just an idiot, sorry. Sorry, this is on you. The gross negligence was on you. It's true. It's true, and that's just what ruined it for me. Yeah. It should have just been like, oh fuck, something happened. We met these fabulous millionaires and they've got a yacht, and oh, he's crazy because he goes shark diving because he needs a thrill in his life. What? And she's like, oh my god. I'm so scared. And he's like, no, it's totally it's fine. It's gonna be great. Well, and then like, at one point she's like, should we touch it? Which they never did, but I was like, if that's what, and that's yeah. kind of actually what I thought was gonna happen. I thought she was gonna try and touch it, right? And then it would freak out and like ram the cage. Yeah, and, then and the that stress would... of the, the, yeah. The yeah. shark hitting it would yeah. tear the... Because you'd seen in the trailer, like, the fraying yeah. cord. And I was like, oh, so, like, you know, it bites the, the cord, wire, right. and then that makes it start to fray, yeah. and then the... Whatever. Something. But that's not what happened. That's not what happened. But that could have been what happened. That would have been good. With the, the yacht billionaire. Yeah. I'm down for that. If he's, like, so crazy that he's like, I'm going to touch a shark. Oh, he does it, and he then he it. brings down their downfall. Yeah, and it's not their fault. But then fault. he dies, and maybe the sisters are okay. And then they survive. Yeah. Because, you know. Maybe one of them loses a leg. The, like, bitchy, blonde sister who's Who, really like, irresponsible yeah. and stupid yeah. loses a foot. Yeah. And was cool. like, he's a billionaire. He can't be that crazy. Yeah. And you're like, no, he was. Yeah. It's your oh, fault. Now you have a pink leg. I but like, like but that. like then the billionaire like he's dead but so like then they could sue the estate and like yeah. pay for like a real it'd fancy be, prosthetic it'd be like, great. yeah it'd bionic be great. leg yeah yeah then they would have been covered yeah yeah I like this people acting like complete idiots it just makes you not care yeah I'm like no this is stupid. You, you should have been like, you know what? Keep my fucking hundred dollars. I'm not going in this yeah. janky I'll still ass pay cage. The money. I'm good. Just take me home. Nope. I don't want to take. Part I don't in care this. if you guys think I'm lame. No. I. I would rather have my foot at the end of the day. Maybe that's the lesson. Don't be reckless. Or you will die. And don't let your sister peer pressure you into it, things. Into going with peer, some. Peer pressure is bad. That peer, was the. Peer was, pressure is bad. You're gonna get eaten by a shark. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. No, don't don't really bother.